everyone, and welcome to the Coon Rapids Ice Center for CTN's live coverage of boys high school hockey. It's a Northwest Suburban Conference showdown as the Panthers from Spring Lake Park come to take on the Coon Rapids Cardinals. Joe Young and Jerry Grant up above, and Jerry, two teams uh, in a, an important game late in the season for both conference and section yeah, implications. Well, yeah, well, the Cardinals have eight points. The Panthers have four points. The Cardinals are three and two coming out of the January break, and the Panthers are two and three. So they're both kind of in the same situation. Big game for both. Well, and coming off of different ends, the Panthers coming in off a five nothing loss at the hands of Elk River Zimmerman, and for Coon Rapids coming off a thirteen to nothing victory over uh, Anoka that saw three players with hat tricks. Wow, that's that's unbelievable. That, the last time we were here, I remember we saw one guy get nine points, but anytime you see that many players get that many points, that's quite a night. Uh, coming in, you know, the Spring Lake Park, they they do score a decent amount, not quite as much as the Cardinals, and we'll talk more about that uh, in a moment, but uh, they've got guys they've you've got to keep an eye on. They've got six different guys in uh, double digits, and Connor Larson, their uh, captain, is leading the way with 32 points. Yeah, he's, he's the guy who's going to put the puck in the net for him. He's doing a nice job. And for, for the Cardinals, we mentioned three different guys with uh, with hat tricks against Anoka on Thursday night. One of them was Tristan, or not Tristan, Trenton Tyson, uh, who had three goals and three assists. And now is one of three guys tied for second place on the team with 24 points. Yeah, we've talked about this before in the past. The balance scoring for Coon Rapids is something that really does benefit them. They have seven guys with 13, with 19 points or more. And you look at Beeson with 24 points. He's right behind Barsness with 30. That's some good scoring as well. And it, this team scores a lot of goals. That's their strength. Yeah, 5.85 leads the state of Minnesota. Unfortunately, their goals against is a lot higher than they would like it to be. Can they keep the momentum? I'm going off of that blowout over the tornadoes. We'll see when the puck drops next between the Cardinals and the Panthers on CTN. at the Crick, just about ready to get this one started. These two teams rely on goaltenders that have put just about every minute of the season between the pipes. Brock Lewick, the only keeper of record so far for the Spring Lake Park Panthers. On the flip side for the Cardinals, Will Wagner played every minute this season until the Anoka game on Thursday. Bushy getting an opportunity to get his first start. He gets the shutout. Yeah. Luck with a GAA of 4.49, a save percentage of 871, and Wagner with a 3.58 with a .880 save percentage with three shutoffs. I'm going to look for three things today, Joe, and I'm going to keep track of those, talk about more. Number one, who's first to pucks? That's so important in a game of hockey. Two, back pressure. When you have two offensive teams, sometimes they get caught up in the offensive zone, don't get back. I'm going to watch for that. And three, D zone coverage. See who does the right rotations and covers people in those dangerous areas. Hockey fans, it's that time again. Two teams that yes. can get the goal lamp going but have... Uh, had trouble keeping it from being lit behind their own netminder. Engberg gets it across to Tyson. Tyson, quick shot. Lewick punches it away into the boards. Novak trying to hold. It's poked past him by Larson. Larson down the right wing. Bad save. Wagner and then sent across the top of the crease. Stocky puts it back in behind. A battle behind the net. Tyler Barzis comes up with it. Engberg's cross ice pass, knocked back to him. He gets it out to center. One thing we didn't mention, Trent Tyson 
a former Panther. Yeah, well, I bet they wish he was still in their uniform with all those goals and assists. And you know he will be hungry to keep his hot scoring streak intact against his former team. Rowell in front of his own net, cross ice pass broken up partially by Hazelwood. Bresnahan will track down the loose puck, spin away from the pressure, play it up the boards. Bowden tried to poke it past the four checker, but couldn't. He'll get it back from Hazelwood now. Pass in the skates of Golan. Golan pushes it into the zone. Bowden knocks it down, plays it out front, just out of the reach of Alfin, and back the other way come the Panthers. Teddy Wackman. Fires wide, it wraps around to the far side, held on the blue line by Wold. Yeah, Wackman's dangerous, he has 29 points on the season. Had two goals in the 4-3 Spring Lake Park win last season against these Cardinals. Panthers have won the last three meetings over the last two seasons. This shot from the point into the midsection of Will Wanger, he'll hold for the faceoff. They've scored three wins over those uh, two seasons by a combined total of four goals. Oh, wow. Well, well, that's uh, the kind of games you want, tight games, ones you want to win. Earlier in the last shift, I saw Hazelwood step up at the blue line, make a nice play to di disrupt a good pass. So I'd like to see more of that. Off the faceoff, Novak flips it high and down, and that will eventually cross the line and become icing, and we'll try it again. So far, the coaches seem to be matching those first lines. See if that changes uh, as the game goes on when the home team gets a chance to shuffle things a little bit. Barsness kicks at it, comes free. Bush had it knocked off his stick. Holland recovers. He's bumped by Bush along the boards. Bush recovers, turned over out front. Puck still loose, is shot on by Larson, stopped up by Wagner. Bush behind his own net. Spins away from the pressure from Holland. Plays it behind for Novak. Cross ice. Bars this into the zone. Crosses, poked off his stick. Novak from the blue line. Fans on the shot. Follows it into the corner. Pressures Rowell there. Comes free for Holland. Holland across for Stocky. Back for Holland down the way. Good back check there from Engberg. Yep, that's what we like to see right there. Engberg will play it off the board, back out to center, and sent right back in deep by Teddy Wackman. Teddy Wackman had two goals for Spring Lake Park in that win last season. Feel like I just said that. Yeah, well, it did, but it's good repetition today. Alfred with speed through center. Across the line, takes the shot into the glove of Lewick. And we'll have a face-off in the Spring Lake Park in. Yeah, so far, pretty even game. Shots have all been pretty much outside the line. You see this one coming in here. Nice, you know, but getting the line and taking the shot eventually there. Luck is right there on the, on the spot at the top of his crease. So it's going to be icing the other way and bring us right back to the Spring Lake Park end. Yeah, Brock Lewick, of course, the younger, bro uh, younger brother to Blake Lewick. Oh, okay. Who was an outstanding center for these Spring Lake Park Panthers and also played uh, lacrosse, a captain for the Spring Lake Park Coon Rapids lacrosse team. But uh, he had a... The Cardinals certainly don't mind seeing him move on uh, from the high school ranks because he was a cardinal killer in his oh seasons my. with the Panthers. Yeah. yeah you always like to see those guys move along. Had a hat trick in one of those games a couple years ago, I believe. Hazelwood has it poked off his stick, but right to Bresnahan, across to Alfin. It was in his skates. Bumped to the wall. Bresnahan pokes it into the corner. Alfin seals, but can't catch up with it. Roll. From behind his own net. Into the middle, Wackman across. And now sent in deep by Caden Lichter. Bush, cross ice for Tristan Golan. Tristan Golan had a pair of goals in that game for Coon Rapids last year. Yeah. Nice to see him get one to start tonight. 
Spring Lake Park uh, won that one on a late third period power play goal. Grand Rapids able to hold the zone. A little trouble by Lewick handling that essentially a dump in from Andrew Clark. You never know when you shoot that puck hey. in the net. Good things happen when you play toward the net. Yes, yeah, that's right. One thing the Cardinal defense can have to watch out for is their exiting I see that shot and then look jumping on that puck there. He's on the top of his blue crease. Makes a good save, just a little trouble with the rebound, but he got it. But uh, what, what I saw earlier is Spring Lake Park will leave a guy a little late behind the D as the puck comes out. So they have to watch out because they'll turn that puck right back down low and they'll be open. The old Montreal Canadiens play. Roel gets it ahead to Larson, stops up, back to Roel just inside his blue line. Cross, Jensen. Cross ice pass broken up by Barsness. Engberg takes a swat at it. Hazelwood pokes it. Larson dumps it in deep. Wagner leaves it there. Bresnahan missed it, bumps Larson off the puck. A little bit bigger pop in the corner as Bresnahan tried to poke it around. Howlett out front. Good stick from Bresnahan to poke it free. Panthers able to play it back in deep. Hazelwood to Barsness. It went right through Barsness. Tyson recovers, though. Tried to go behind his back in the pass, unfortunately, behind to Tyler Barsness just yeah. inside the zone. Sometimes you're better off just dumping that deep. Don't get fancy at the blue line when you're not sure. Hazelwood across for Bowden. Drops it. Tyson's shot is tipped and ends up wide. Hazelwood pressuring Bowden. Up top, Alfin shoots. That's deflected and goes wide. Alfin swats at it again, ends up in the far corner where Wackman recovers as he's hit by Bowden. Wackman comes away with it, though. Wackman through center. Takes a couple of whacks and gets a shot on goal. Sticked away by Wagner. Bush lost the handle. Turnover, high blocker save. Novak able to get that one out of the zone on the backhand. And another turnover nearly causing trouble for the Cardinals early in this first period. Yes, those are always a problem in your own D zone. Been a couple defensive zone turnovers already in this game for the home team. Rising able to take Lichter off the puck at center ice. This one deflected in from Alfin, but a step before the red line. And that will be icing. 10.27 to go. No score so far. Panthers out shooting the Cardinals 5-2. Yeah, Panthers, have, Panthers have a little bit more opportunity in the zone. The Cardinals have been down the other way. They just haven't had the shots when they've been there. Sprint Lake Park playing a smart first period so far. Tie up off the draw. Comes free to Bresnahan. Gets it ahead to Clark. Clark. Flips it around, roll, and will go get it in the corner. They cancel each other out. Comer comes away with it behind the net. Moves it along, and Shipman at center will chip it in and give chase. That uh, breakout is coming up the middle for Spring Lake Park, and they're coming out pretty clean. Cardinals able to tie up in the corner. Loose puck scooped up by Bresnahan. Races to the other end. Cuts across top of the circles. Shoots. Long rebound, Barsness across, Engberg shot tipped up and over. Barsness sent it back into the crease, just swept away by the Panthers. Barsness with it in the corner. Hops away from Engberg, back to Barsness. Barsness centering, Bush sent it across for Tyson, hopped over his stick. At the top of the crease, Engberg deflected it, but just trickled in where Lewick could cover it and get his team a breather. Well, there is the first time that the Coon Rapids Lions have got a little more pressure in the offensive zone, won some puck battles, had some passes that just didn't quite click, or they had some really good opportunities there. They need more of that. Anders Holland through center with speed. Wide on Novak, and Novak will take him into the end board. Bush recovers and skates for the Cardinals. Tyson, one touch over for Engberg. He bobbled it, able to stay with it. Out front, but Tyson was all tied up. Good. Holland recovers. Good tie up. Bars this with the steal at center ice. Tyson bumped and gets past the pressure, but loses the puck. Chopped around by Tranby. To the line, but not out. 
Shot by Hazelwood deflected up and out of play. Yeah, well, Raps picking up their game a little bit. Shots are 5-5 five, five now. They settled in, starting to do some nice things. Just about midway through the first period. And again, it, all indications were we were in for one that was going to be close start to finish. So far, that's what we've seen. That one is going to go indirect and just wide for icing. Not a bad idea. Trying to stretch the team out a little bit, get them thinking about that pass. Try and get that here. weak side wing free yeah. and, and yeah, sprinting, nothing, but nothing else. It sure, it sure opens up the deep uh, the breakout if that D starts back that leg, right? Little, little too much on it though. Yep. Bowden able to strip the puck free, stays with it in the corner. It's tied up, taken off of it, and the Panthers able to clear to center. Bresan waits at his own blue line. Cross for Hazelwood. Pass back, your cross was deflected. Alfin into the zone, will send it down and around. Golet tried to pitch fork it back in, but intercepted by Jensen as he didn't have much on it. Ian Roll gets it out through center. Bresnahan swats at it. Centering pass, Bresnahan went off his skates and right onto the pad of Wagner and quickly back the other way come the Cardinals. Caden Alfin behind the net. We'll play it out to the point for Bresnahan. Across for Hazelwood. Tried to get it into the center. It hit a skate. Bresnahan from the point. This is just wide. Good idea. A lot of room for Wackman to skate, and he'll take it. On his backhand, tries to send it back through center. Then fanning out it on the far side was Cummer. He'll get it across. Centering pass taken away by Alfin. And that pass just out of the reach of Golan. That'll be icing, and we'll be back in the Coon Rapids end. 7.32 to go, period number one. Not too bad there. Right idea, just missed the pass. Open players, settle down, take another half a beat, and just lay that puck on the stick. Okay, the old calm and cool under pressure, right? You always know you have at least a second. So you got to always just take a look up, find the man. Long shot from the point, got through. Wagner will hold on for another faceoff. So far, yeah, we talk about are, yeah. puck battles right. and winning those short races. All comes down to possession. Faceoff's the other piece of that. Another win for the Panthers. Sailor from the point. Another pad save for Wagner. That was a nice save through traffic. Played around. Luke Rising chips it off the board. Clark trying to kick it to his stick. Stahlberger couldn't get through traffic, and the Panthers chip it up and out. Cardinals a couple of touches, get it to the blue line, but turned around there by Larson. Bush can't get it past it. Larson cuts to the middle, got between the defenders, turns and shoots, but it's blocked into the corner. Yeah, you can't cough the puck up to that guy. He's, he's around it. Clark able to get it out to neutral ice. Bush stops the dump in. He can't get it deep. Again, it's Larson stopping things up. Novak sends it in. Roel sends it all the way back down. And with authority, with, that's icing. With authority icing, that's right. Well, that's good. Cardinals need to get with the draw here and get some pressure, try to get some shots on goal. We don't keep the face-off statistic, but I do believe Spring Lake Park has won a few more drops. Holland against Barnes. Barnes is able to win it back. Tyson gains control. Down low, looking for Engberg. Was a little behind him. He chases Jensen behind the net. Jensen ahead, stopped up by Barnes. Swept out to center by Wackman. Cardinals regroup. Bresna handed his own blue line. Barnes. Flips it into the zone. Roll will play it across. Jensen ahead. And then a failed attempt by Stocky to get it back to Roll. Flipped high and dumped into the zone. Bowden will give chase. Roll will play it behind. Jensen ahead. Cross back for Roll. It was behind him. Turned over. Alfin. Toe drag and a great stick from Caden Jensen. He was beat down on the ice, spun around and able to poke that one free. Jensen trying to dance through pressure at the other end. Cardinals able to get it back out. Golet 
Waits shoots. That's blocked. Golan able to dump it back in deep. Good battles all over the ice. Alfin comes away with it. Goes back to his forehand, shoots, glove save, rebound loose, but only red jerseys at the top of the crease. No, that was just sitting there. Too bad there wasn't a player coming in following that puck. Alfin able to tip it away from Wackman, but then it's icing waved off because it hit Alfin trying to hold it on the boards. Uh -oh. Wackman with a turnover just outside the blue line. Blocker save. Up and out of play. 4.42 to go. And we're still scoreless. Yeah, it's hard to carry that puck through two guys. You've got to move that thing when they're the last man. You don't want to be dangling. Head man it. Move it forward. Jensen? Yeah, King Jensen. I mean, that little toe drag. It looked like he was coming in. And Jensen instead. I... Uh, this is a there we go. different play. Here's a, a race for it. Lewick comes out and gets it away from a charging Jackson Engbert. Back the other way. Dylan Stocky stops up. Leaves it there for Larson. Larson in the corner, pressured by a couple of Cardinals. Will play it back out to the point for Sailor. His shot sails wide. Good thing, because Wagner did not see that one. Wold tried uh -oh. to play it back out front again. The... Uh, Panthers trying to get it out front. Tyson out to the point. Bresnahan shoots that hit. Traffic goal, and Tyson scores. Shot from Bresnahan, hit traffic out front. Tyson, a wide open cage, and with exactly 14 minutes to go in the first period, or 14 minutes into the first period. The Cardinals are on the board. Well, sometimes you have to get a lucky break, a lucky bounce. The goaltender made a nice save, and the puck just happened to go to the wrong guy, the one wide open waiting to go, and that was decent. He was right in the right spot, and he didn't take a lot of time. He put that in the empty net. You see a nice save here, and bam, it's done. 24 square feet of yawning cage for Trenton Tyson. He does not miss. No, that's good. Good goal. He has really come on very strong these last couple weeks. As we talked about, three goals, three assists against Anoka. Well, you know, when a player starts getting the feeling a little bit, starts to have the puck bounce their way, good things start to happen. You just have to keep working and then paying off a decent work to the right spot. What I was going to say, Tyson, with that, lifted himself into sole possession of second place, except. Rowan Bresnahan also had an assist on the goal, so both moved to 25. Here's Caden Alfin down the wing, a shot. Lewick the save, and he pokes it away towards the boards where it's recovered by the Panthers. Out to center. Bush able to stop it up. Three Numbers in a bad change. Bowden's pass swept away from Golan. He tries to get it back out front, but Tranby there to slow things up. Yeah. Bad spacing there that time, of course, all in the line. Drew Lindquist down the right wing, tries to get around Bresnahan and shot off the side of the net. Bresnahan behind the net, bumped there by Brody Herzog. Played to the line, held in there, though, by Lindquist. His shot didn't get through. Bush chops it up the boards. Bowden one touch for Alfred. Alfred. Slips through a couple of defenders, flips it around another into the zone. Low angle shot deflected up and into the netting out of play. A face off in the offensive zone for the Cardinals up 1-0. 2.32 to go in the first. Yeah, Elton Foot showing his speed there. He is one on five, but he just took that puck wide and got a shot towards the net. Deflected out, but the reward, offensive zone face off. You get your number one unit back out. Face-off win for Barzness, but it comes back out to center. Bresnahan chased back into his own end by Stocky. Pass just off of the stick of Hazelwood. Comes back to him. Can't get that pass through. Holland. And now back on the near side for Larson. Bresnahan stops things up again. Fresh on the ice. Sailor gets it in deep. Oh. Man, all alone out front. And a great save 
for Will Wagner. Anders Holland was all alone just below the hash marks. Quick one-timer, but the glove save keeps this a 1-0 lead for the Cardinals. Tyson is shot. That hit traffic. And Larson cross ice and coming to center is Wackman. And we talked about that defensive zone coverage start the game. Got lost that time. Wide open man in front. Barsness sweeps it up the boards for Tyson. Tyson cross ice hopped over the stick of Engberg. Larson there in front of Engberg. Engberg able to duck under him and take it away. Out front, man was tied up. Alfin recovers, backhander on net. Pushed away with the stick by Lewick. Yeah, Elfin's moving tonight. Look at that back pressure. Lichter gets to center, dumps it in right on Wagner. He covers up and a face off with 107 to go in the first period. Good, good period for both teams. Both teams playing fairly fast. They're moving their legs. They're battling for the loose pucks. Goaltenders are on, on their game. They're pretty sharp. Face off win. Oh, Wackman's wow. shot is blocked. Bowden back the other way. Has Golden with him. Chips it in too far. Tracks it down. Tries to center. Hazelwood was filling that lane, but he was tied up. Bresnahan tried to get it across. Bowden with a good stick lift. Keeps it in play. Chips it off the boards. Good Pokes awesome it ball. free again and gives Chase in the corner. Ends up in a heap with a Panther on top of it. That was a good effort. Spring Lake Park able to get back out to center. Wackman. Been all over the place with the puck tonight. Dropped it for Lindquist. Tried to get it back to Wackman. Bresnahan lost the handle under 30 seconds to go in the period. Pressured by Holland. Holland able to force the turnover and then hot potato. Pass across from Bowden. Nobody home. This one deflected in by Stocky. Hazelwood behind his own net. Engberg will send it ahead off the stick of Alfin. Lewick will come out to play it, and he'll play it off the boards and back out to center. Here's Howlett back the other way. A snapshot is saved, and they'll just uh, hold off on the whistle at the last second tick off, and we'll go to the locker room. Coon Rapids, a one-goal lead. Trent Tyson at the 13-minute mark gives Coon Rapids a 1-0 lead. We'll take a break. At first, at, uh, first period highlights after this on CTA. Did you know major recreational equipment like RVs, campers, converted buses, and boats are allowed on residential property in Coon Rapids? But you are limited to two items that must be registered and operable. And any vehicle parked at a home for more than 12 hours must not exceed a certain size. For more information on this and other city codes, log on to CoonRapidsMN.gov. Back at the Crick, getting ready for period number two between the Panthers and the Cardinals. A tightly contested first period. Shots on goal, 11 to 10, favoring the home team Cardinals. And that one extra shot was the difference in the contest as well as they scored late in the period. Able to get some good chances off the rush. Bringing pressure. Air wing, far point, always works when it's open. Well, and it all starts with Trenton Tyson. He leads it. Circles back, gets the pass, up, pass out to Bresnan. Bresnan's shot is blocked, but goes right to Tyson, and he buries it. Yeah, good, good that job. That is his 13th of the season. Yeah, I look at the stats, my three keys that I had. First, the pucks. I thought that Coon Rapids did a nice job there. They were working hard to get the pucks. Back pressure, they had some good back checks. People really did get on their horses and get back to the level of that puck. I like seeing that. Defense, defensive zone coverage, better, but still, you and I talk, they can still clean it up a little bit more. But it, when you look at the stats, great eight shots against. Spring Lake Park only had two good shots in the house. Coon Rapids had four, so keep that up. Well, and that was that, that one lapse that was very noticeable late in the period, a wide open man below the hash marks out front. Fortunately, Wagner able to come up with that big save, keep the Cardinals in the lead, and then the other 
thing we we talked about was uh, still seeing too many turnovers in the defensive yeah. zone for the yeah. Cardinals, yeah. whether it be failed clear attempts or uh, ill-advised breakout passes that are intercepted. We are underway in the second period. Engberg flips it up and in. Jensen there first, sweeps it around. Tyson waits for pressure to come. Finally poked away by Lindquist. Cardinals able to keep it alive. Lindquist able to get it out to center. Turned around by Novak. Yeah, good read by Bush. He stepped up, kept the puck in. There you go. Lindquist can't get away from Engberg. Barzness tried to give it right back to Engberg, and it just failed to click. Bush able to hold the line again. Mm -hmm. Good way to start this second period, all in the offensive zone. Cross ice pass. Wackman able to poke it out to center. Now gets it over for Lindquist. His shot blocker save. Wagner didn't know where that rebound had gone. Fortunately, it bounces harmlessly into the corner. Headman pass doesn't connect with Tyson, turns into an icing and a face off back in the Coon Rapids end just over a minute into this first period. Yeah, good save by Wagner. He was aware of that hard shot coming his way. Got a piece of it. Yeah, look for Spring Lake Park to try to find a little more stretch passing this period. They seem to have a affinity for that. Cardinals able to flip it out of the zone. Hazelwood's pass bumped right back to him. Now we'll get it to Golan, and he just shovels it in deep. Bowden gives chase, swept around by Tranby. Near board, Stocky flips it out to center. Hazelwood fanned on it. It went right over the stick of Connor Larson. Bresnahan will turn up ice for the Cardinals. To Bowden, a shot, stick to the corner by Lewick. Alfin fanned on it, and back come the Panthers. Stocky's shot blocked. There's a chance for Larson, but it's deflected up and out of play. Ooh, and Larson lightly tapped the stick on the boards. He knows that that was a winner for him. It just didn't go his way. Well, you get to that part of the ice and the puck Ooh. on your stick, you really want to at least put it on goal. Yes. And instead, a good stick from a Cardinal defender thwarts a potential scoring chance early in this second period. Yeah, just good awareness. Sometimes the puck will go somewhere and you have to just get a stick on it. Cardinals able to force it out to center. Here's Barsness with speed. Snaps a shot off. Toe saved by Lewick. Engberg sent it back into the corner. Barsness battles for it there. Supporting is Engberg, trying to dig for it. Comes free for Comer. He gets it ahead for Shipman. Shipman dumps it in on Wagner and a bouncing puck. He'll hold on to just make sure Yeah, nothing funny happens. Good idea, because they're a little outnumbered there, and it looked like it might have been bouncing wider than that. It didn't go as a shot on goal, but still dangerous puck, because when it ends up right next to your goal crease on the light, right side there, just get a whistle. Panthers able to win the draw. The shot blocked by Engberg. Comes back to Larson at the point. That one got through. Kicked away by Wagner. Roll sends it behind just out of the reach of Wackman. Pinching is Larson. He's met along the boards by Bush. Wackman able to dig it free and send it around. Roll lets it go, and it's going to come out to center as Lichter couldn't quite get there in time. Yeah, good idea by Roll. Just didn't oh, watch that one. Oh, no. A little sloppy play with the puck by the Cardinal netminder. This one comes in, shoulder save. He'll hold on and let everybody get, get reset. <laughs> good, good idea. That was one of those like, uh-oh. <laughs> you see here, it's a nice pass to the point. And here comes a shot through traffic. And Wagner is out in the top of his crease, and he sees it and freezes it. Yeah, Spring Lake Park sure right in that first line lot throughout every other shift. Larson swings it around to the near corner. Hazelwood bumped to the boards, gets it ahead, but kept in at the line by Wolf. Now Coon Rapids able to get it back out to center. Sailor will send it back in deep. 
Hazelwood chops it along for Bowden. His pass broken up by Wold. Alfred steals it back for the Cardinals. Comes out of his own zone, able to weave through. He's tracked down, and that is our first penalty of the contest. No, yeah, that's what happens when you're flat-footed. He went around two Spring Lake Park players who were flat-footed, and the third one was also not moving. And all he could do was reach a stick out and take the penalty. See it here, nice move, and then there's that stick right in the armpit. That yeah, probably a good penalty because Elfin had good speed and he had room. He's been noticeable tonight. Yeah, he for has. sure. Big power play. Get some shots, get some momentum going. Barsness back at the point. I believe five goals on the power play in that win against Anoka. Yeah, take what they give you. Don't force those passes. I know you want to get to that back door, but not there. Just keep moving it around. It'll open up eventually. Bresnahan able to try to get around the forecheck, but Lichter able to poke it free. And Larson sends it back in deep. Bresnahan pressured, gets past the attacker. Barsness looking for Bresnahan out front. Will give and go, and instead sent all the way back down. Wagner to Barsness, and here's Tyson. He's pinned to the boards by Larson, yeah. but gets it in deep. Yeah, good deep by Larson. Barsness stepping up. He lost the puck. Back the other way comes Lindquist. He's bumped off it by Bush. More of the midway through the power play. Oof, yeah, so far, it's not getting anything, anything going here. Alfin cutting cross ice just outside the blue line, chips it into the corner, gives chase. Help pinched there by Wackman. Supporting is Tyson, comes free. Engberg out to Barsness, tried to sweep it back to Engberg, intercepted and cleared. That's the momentum builder for Spring Lake Park. The excellent penalty kill so far. They've been Wagman, getting the puck Good first. four check yep. on the shorthanded play. Knew the Cardinals were going for a line change behind, and all he had to do was take care of Bush, and he did. Took some extra time off the clock. Bowden gets into the zone, lost the handle, cleared back out. Fortunately for the Cardinals, hit a linesman so they don't have to go all the way down, but then in offside as that pass just a little bit late getting to Eli Bowden. Too much carrying, not enough passing. No goals. Yeah, no shots on goal here work. in this power play yeah. for the Cardinals. You know, the puck moves faster than the feet. And when you have that puck it down low, you start skating up towards that point and then pass it, you've defeated the purpose. Zip that puck up there from down low and make that defender work. That yeah. one's going. Oh, I thought that one had more out of it. On it was going to get out of play. Clark will send it back in deep on the backhand. Larson bumped off it by Rising out to the point. Bush's shot didn't get through. Rising was trying to redirect and ended up blocking instead. Played around to the far corner. Roll will get it out to center. Novak turns it around. Roll sends it back. Deflected in by Connor Larson. Novak to rising at center. His pass a little behind Clark. He's able to recollect. Oh, Takes hit. a hit just inside the zone by Larson. Stepped right into that. Nice, nice check. Rising did not get a piece of that. It will be icing. Ref was right there and mm -hmm. immediately just looked at, at Luke headed for the bench and no. shook his head. No, no, you did not get that. No. We, we could hear the stick ticking the ice, but it did not have a puck hit the stick. So yep, that's a nice Spring Lake Park. Just hanging around. Shots 12-12. Face off win for Barsness. Bresnahan behind his own net. Chased there by Lichter. Reverses for Hazelwood. Back to Bresnahan. Hazelwood. Cross ice pass taken away by Wackman. Wackman. Works his way into the zone. Bumped off it by Barsness. Yeah, good play. Hazelwood pressured. Two on one. Wackman trying to center. Taken away by Barsness again. He'll flip it to Hazelwood. Cross ice pass deflected. Engberg able to sweep it along for Tyson. Tyson stops up along the boards. Trying to get it back to Engberg. Tipped away by Wackman. Walter 
Able to flip it just outside the blue line. Tyson gets it turned back in. Recovering his Tranby off the near boards. And this will come down. No icing as the stick was taken away there. Bresnahan. Good spin move to find a little bit of room. Long pass. Tyson trying to split the defenders. Tipped off his stick by Saylor. And the Panthers the referee. with numbers. Centering attempt from Herzog was broken up. Barsness sends it around. Bowden can't control. Out to center for Golan. Tristan Golan. High shot off the glass behind the net. Panthers get it to the line and send it out to center. Golan tried to dump it in and fanned on it. Sailor gets it to the Cardinal. Blue, but Bush back the other way. Tandon Bush centering went off the skate of Mason Wold out front into the corner. Bush pins Wold there. That shot didn't have a lot on it. No chance of getting through. It's flipped up into the Raptors. We'll have a faceoff. In the Spring Lake Park end with 9.01 to go in the second period. Yep, good pace in this period. Both teams playing pretty good defense. Very similar to last period as far as back and forth action. And just yep. a 2-1 to one, uh, yep. shot advantage in this period for Spring Lake Park. 2-1. Yep. to one. Two We're to almost one. midway through the yeah, period. Isn't that, yeah, that's amazing. Well, good, good defense, blocking shots. Bowden centers. Oh. That misses just wide for Alfin. Try it again. It's deflected out to the point. Bresnahan. Alfin looking to the back door. Had Golan with his stick in a good spot near the post, but just couldn't quite find it. Bowden centering. Intercepted by Larson. His pass ahead for Stocky. Doesn't click. Bresnahan circles past a couple of four checkers. Able to find a soft spot and dump it in deep. Good, good decision by Bresnahan there. This one swung around and will come to center. Bresnahan stops it up. Golan pitch forks it back into the far corner. Larson will skate to center. Near side for Stocky ahead out of the reach of Larson and Bushy. Off the far boards. Roll will send it ahead. That's a great step up by Stockman yeah. right there. Absolutely. Per I love to see it. Yeah. Larson is their leading scorer. T talking third line defenseman, one of the smallest defensemen in your lineup right there in Sam Bordner. Yeah. He stepped up. He took the hard end of that hit, right. but he separated man yeah, from puck. That's right. He denied Beauty. Larson from coming in and getting an opportunity going. Oh, nice this is another play. great back behind the back oh. pass from Bowden and Ooh, that was close. defender roll just got a stick on Alphins as he tried the one timer deflected it just wide. Goal, or, uh, Tyson rather jumps on the loose puck, tried to center. It's broken up, taken away by Wackman. Teddy Wackman flips it ahead. Hazelwood intercepts, poked off of his stick. He gets it right back. Will give and go with Tyler Barsness. Barsness had it poked off his stick just before he got the zone. Lindquist sidesteps a check and now able to send it in. Engberg, long pass ahead. Goal. Tyson, why do I keep calling Tyson Golan? Yeah, it happens. Here we go. Barsness on the turnover, and that one misses just high and wide. Chopped ahead. Uh -oh. Wackman one on one against. Now he's got a friend at the back door just out of the reach of Lindquist. Game's opening up. Here's Wackman again. Turns and scores. Yep, you could see that coming. Got some running around there. They opened the game up, got away from that defensive structure we've had for over a half a period. And there's that loose puck, loose player, and in the net. And that'll be 11th goal for Wackman, so he's just joined the 30-point club. See it on the replay. Yep. And another turnover, turnover in the defensive zone. Yeah. We're tied at a goal apiece. Opportunity for Shipman trying to kick his way through the defense was broken up by Novak. 
Golan is shot on net at the other end. Alfin flips it back in the corner. Scooped up there by Landon Comer. Up the middle and out to center for Brody Herzog. Cardinals able to stop him up again. Comer passes behind Wold, but into the Cardinals zone. Novak out of the reach of Bowden. That'll be icing. 6-10 to go here in period number two. Yep, just a bad angle on that pass. Got to use the boards, try to bank it a little bit. No room for error on that one. So Spring Lake Park with a little pressure here, getting the face off in the offensive zone. Barzness called out of this circle. Engberg will take it instead. Able to tie up and win it back to Bresnahan. Bresnahan can't get past Lichter. Now it's chopped out to center. Tyson for Barzness. Enters along the right wing. Drops it off. Engberg back to Barzness. Trying to get around Roll. Roll able to tip it off his stick. Lichter with it. Pass ahead. Didn't click. Bresnahan. Shovels it back in on net. Lewick will leave it there for Jensen. Yeah, Roll's been good for Spring Lake Park. Good defender. That pass just out of the reach of Drew Lindquist will be icing and a faceoff back in the Spring Lake Park hit. Well, just keep getting those draws. Try to win one. Get some pressure. Get a four check established. Try to get some pucks to the net. Yeah, good. good even hockey game been enjoyable. Another face-off win for Spring Lake Park, but a good battle by Rising along the board to win it back for the Cardinals. Stahlberger tried to get it back to Clark in the corner. It's taken away by Holland. Holland had it kicked off. His stick, Clark a chance. Save and cover. For Brock Lewick. Well, there's what the four check does for you. Put some pressure on them and they'll turn the puck over. Andrew Clark finally getting his first varsity goal in Thursday's game against Anoka. He's been noticeable in the games we've seen. Good, good, speed, good, good, good speed. Good hands. Stahlberger able to win the draw. Clark back to Novak. Down to Stahlberger in the corner to Clark. Had trouble with it. Finally jams it on net. And Lewick able to cover up. Pass kind of handcuffed. Clark, he had to dig it out of his skates. Not able to put a lot on the shot, but good play off the faceoff. Yeah, yeah, they got the draw, got it down low, and were able to get an opportunity. And Clearly designed play out to the point, down to the corner, find the man Spring Lake slashing Park, to, yeah. the, to the middle. Spring Lake Park didn't like that, so they changed line. Wold can't get past Engberg, but then, uh, or Golan rather, but then able to take Golan off his feet. Ends up being flipped out of play in the Cardinal bench. Just over five minutes yeah. to go. And here comes Roll back on the ace again. Some of those top players for Spring Lake Park are logging a lot of ice time in this game, but that's the way they're choosing yeah. to do it. 18 assists on the season for Ooh. Ian Roll. Yeah. Ooh. This one deflected out front. Lewick had no idea where no it idea. went. Roll flips behind for Jensen. Ahead, oh. Wackman. Bumped off it by Bushy, but he's able to play it out to center. Novak chips it out of the zone. Alfin across for Golan. Cross ice looking for Bowden. Too far for him. Panthers able to send it back out to center. Bush to Alfin on the boards. He'll dump it in. Cardinals had to wait to clear. Now we'll give chase. Roll. Stops up in the corner. Bowden pressures. Pins the much larger roll to the boards. Ties up the puck with his feet. Alfin trying to dig it free. Comes loose for Wackman. 
He gets it ahead. Lindquist trying to dance his way past Bush, but can't. Now sends it down and around. Novak to Bowden. One touch for Alfin out to center. Can't get past Lindquist. Uh -oh. Jensen cross ice. A couple of Panthers standing there alone. Return pass broken up by Tandon Bush. Yeah, those are the little things that will bite you right there. Well, Coon Rapids fortunate that those two weren't able to catch that pass clean and enter yeah. with speed. They were 2 on 0. <laughs> and Tandon Bush able to get back puck side of the of the offensive player and intercept that pass. Make sure it really didn't even turn into a scoring chance. Snapshot by Tyson blocker save Lewick. Tyson in the corner, tried to center, turned away by Jensen. Wackman gets it ahead. Out to center, Holland trying to drag it to himself. Chipped in and right on net. And weird looking stab at the puck. Here's a chance out front and a goal for Larson. Weird bouncing puck. Connor Larson sweeps, sweeps it in on the backhand and the Panthers have a 2-1 lead. Yeah, it reminded me of the first goal, just somehow the puck ended up on someone's stick in the red jersey in the right spot, and that guy doesn't miss much because now he has 20 goals and 13 assists, as you see it on the replay here. Puck in the corner, pops way up in the air, Cardinal player touches it, but there, two guys all alone again. Backside pressure wasn't there from the, the far post to get in there and clean up that. Well, you saw, I think it was Dylan Stocky that was spinning around looking for where that puck was. His two teammates knew where it was. Shot out, blocked out front, didn't make it through. And Lewick had no idea where it was. Nope, but lucky for him, there was no Cardinal player there. This one played the length of the ice right on the Cardinal netminder. Little pressure coming from Joe Shipman, makes sure that he covers it, forces the Cardinals to take a defensive faceoff. 2.30 to go, period number two. Well, Boone Rapids just has to settle down, keep playing the way they are. They're, they're playing a good game, just not getting the bounce here and there that they need. As Spring Lake Bart answered that one nothing deficit with two in a row. Both guys are going to get kicked out this time as Alfin and Lichter got locked up on the draw. This one won by the Panthers. Lindquist played it across, bounces out to center. Goal it to Alfin into the zone. Bumped off of his stick. Wackman back the other way. Good hit by Bresnahan to stand him up. Lindquist tried to center, hit the back of the net. Hazelwood. For the Cardinals off the glass roll. Not quite able to keep it in the zone. Now it's in his feet. Golan gets it into the zone. Kick back out to center by Lichter. Lichter leaves it for Lindquist. Tries to toe drag. Sandwiched by a couple of Cardinal players. Golan will flip it out. Wackman will knock it down and send it back in. Or tried to instead sending it up and out of play. Okay, 145 left in the period. Kick it into the corner for Spring Lake Park. Give chase. Larson fanned on the shot attempt. Comes right back to him. A shot and a save for Wagner. Cardinals flip it out. It skips away from Tyson. Panthers will send it right back in deep. Well, they're getting success by just dumping it in and floor checking. Angberg cross ice. Tyson pokes it past Walter. Tran be able to chop it free. Barsness had it poked around him by Larson. That oh. one ended up hitting someone on the Cardinal bench, and they're fortunate oh. as uh, if that gets behind the defender there, 
Larson might be off to the races. He is off to the races, and that's the last guy you want off to the races. 69 seconds remain in period number two. It's a period that has seen the visitors score twice and take a 2-1 lead. Yeah, twice on four shots. Cardinals with seven shots. Oh. Hazelwood's cross-ice pass was deflected, but he's able to recover. Bresnahan, long looking for Alfin. He couldn't quite receive it off the boards. Dumping in and Wackman. Bresnahan looking for Alfin splitting the defense, and he felt like he got a piece of it or at least got tied up enough that it would have negated a icing call. Yeah, good try. try to loosen them up a little bit. Try to loosen up that four check, get, get at least one defender backpedaling. Bresnahan. Flips it up and out. Golan sprinting down the far wing was trying to catch up with it, but well defended by Spring Lake Park. Roll will send it back behind. Jensen ahead, didn't have enough on it. Intercepted by Alfin. Pokes free by Jensen. Wackman sidesteps Bowden. He'll skate to center. 15 seconds left. Near side, Lindquist. Swept away from him by Novak. Here's Bresnahan. Bresnahan will sprint through center. Chips it ahead. Bowden couldn't control. Lindquist back the other way. Two seconds and one. The shot up over the net. The buzzer sounds. And the Panthers will go to the locker room up by one. We talked about it. Last four game or last three games have all gone the Panthers way by a total combined difference of four goals. They're in that position again up one going to the third. Highlights after this on CTF. In 1998, CTN debuted one of the greatest broadcast trios ever assembled. Well, the conference is Jerry the Coach Grant joined Howie and Joe to create a hockey announcing trifecta. But, uh, have to but after a wildly successful 10-year run, Jerry, the darling of the team, suddenly went missing. Letters of concern and support poured in from the hockey community as a massive manhunt was launched. After almost two days with no sightings, the search was finally called off. Fans say the coach always had a knack for technical insights that they so loved. But now, a new chapter begins in the legend of Jerry Grant. He's back. And in the broadcast booth of CTN, all season long. Back at the Crick, just about ready to get the second period underway. Spring Lake Park, a pair of goals in the second period to take the 2-1 lead. And all came down to a couple of plays where the Cardinals just could not get the puck out of their end. And Panthers able to take advantage of the opportunities that were given to them and get themselves into the lead going into this third period. Yeah, as you saw there, there was a puck like this one here, just up in the air. Somehow it ends up in the middle of the rink in the slot. Nobody there but a red jersey. And there's the wrong guy to give the puck to all alone as Larson knocks it in there for his 20th goal of the year to give Spring Lake Park that one goal lead. Yeah, Coon Rapids had the lone power play of the contest so far 
Uh, it came early in that second period. They were not able to get a single shot on goal during yeah. that advantage. Yep. And now find themselves trailing. I think that's where Spring Lake Park started to get some of their momentum. That was a really good kill. Gave him some juice on the bench, got him into the game a little bit more, and then they were able to get more pressure. Both teams did a pretty good job that period. Coon Rapids had four shots in the house. Spring Lake Park had three, and two of them went in. Yeah, just four shots in the period for Spring Lake Park, but they're able to tally with two of them and take the 2-1 lead going to this third period. Alfin in the faceoff circle against Caden Lichter. Golan and Lindquist being told to back off. Faceoff win again for Spring Lake Park. Cross ice, Wackman. Waits to settle and then hits Lindquist in the skates. Wackman gets it right back. He had the first one for Spring Lake Park. Yeah, he's been noticeable. Golan tips it. Bowden skates onto it through center. Trying to dump it back for Alfin, but it hit the skates of Lindquist. Played down into the corner, intercepted by Jensen. Roll with it behind his net. Along the near side, Lichter will chop it up and out. Lindquist can't get to it. Alfin will pitch fork it back in. Yep, yeah, it's good. Get it off. Nice shift. 40 seconds. New line. Rowell reverses. Jensen has a little bit of time. Plays it off the boards for Lindquist. Puck kind of spinning and bouncing, but he's able to get it to Lichter. Lichter into the zone. We'll just send it in deep. Head off for a line change. Centering attempt by Stocky was broken up. Tyson for Engberg. Engberg into the zone, trying to get back, and this one bouncing, and it, it's underneath, and is it in? It is! Poke free by Engberg is going to put it home, and the Cardinals have tied this one up. It was sitting loose underneath of Lewick, and That's, had he yeah. put his legs down, he probably would have made the save. It's... Bars is going through the line first, so maybe it will be his goal. Yeah, that's one of those greasy ones you need to get. Put that puck down there right on the crease area. And there it sits, bouncing around. It gets a Spring Lake Park player's leg, and that's where it goes in, it looks like. See it on the replay here. Here it comes out. Well, it bounces underneath here when comes, he lays the leg down, right it there. goes there. Bing. And I don't know that it's Number in 20. yet. Number 20. I, I don't know that it's in at that point until Engberg pokes it in right there. So Holland hit Holland's leg, sat in the crease. Well, and it was underneath his bam. leg, but his leg was not pinching yeah. it to the to well, the ice. Credit to the referees for seeing that and letting the play go on. Well, for now, they at least credited it to Barsness. I thought Engberg was the one. I, I didn't think it went across until Engberg poked it in. Either way, the game is tied a minute 16 into this third period. There's a shot that nearly untied it, and there it is. Holland had the good shot early in the rebound. I thought that Wagner had it frozen in his equipment, but it comes free, and Holland hammers it home. And that tie didn't last long. No, it didn't, because Spring Lake Park came out with a little bit of an odd rush, good speed through the neutral zone. And they were able to get that puck on the net, and they take the lead real quick after the Cardinals tied it. Here you see that play again. Good drop pass, trailer in the middle. And Wagner You saw just Wagner jump on it. it, thought he had it. Yep, there he kind of looks for it. it poked, poked free out. by Larson, yep. and there to put it home is Holland. Well, this first line for Spring Lake Park is good. They're, they're doing the job tonight. They're right back in the offensive zone. Rising not able to chop it past the defender. Now chips it ahead. Clark flips it out. Stahlberger will get there in front of Roll and he scores! And just like that, this one's tied. Stahlberger, I believe, his first varsity goal as Clark collects the puck. And it's a big one. It's a big one, I tell you. So we have the Cardinals with two goals on three shots. And Spring Lake Park with one goal on two shots to start the period. <laughs> All of a sudden, so much for that defensive structure. Bam. Three goals in less than a minute. Yeah, nice stretch pass there. Just flip it out and race to it. 
And Stolberg, just beautiful shot. Beat the goalie because he just didn't take long. He lowered it and just whistled it to the far corner. That's how you doing. We have a game again. We've always had a game, but that's how you game. This one deflected in by the Panthers. Rising cross for Bresnahan. Back across out of the reach of Stahlberger. Icing waved off. Push to Tranby in the corner. Sends it ahead. Intercepted by Golan and sent back in. Walter behind for Tranby. Pressured by Bowden. Gets it ahead. Clean break off. Lichter carries into the zone. Holds off the pressure but then turns it over as Hazelwood. Jumps the pass and heads up ice. Tipped off his stick. Cole in his shot went five hole on Lewick, but missed the net just wide. Oof, that was a good close chance. Golan will fire it again. It was deflected and then saved by Lewick. Wackman cross ice, gets it back out to center. Bresnahan will send it back in. Sales gets it ahead, tipped out to center by Stocky. Cardinals regroup at their own blue line. Bush's pass taken away by Wold. Wold will send it in. Wagner will cover it up. We'll have a faceoff in the Coon Rapids end with 13 23 to go in a tie game. 3 3. Yeah, fireworks start the third period here. Yeah, trying to match up some lines again here. One versus one. Face-off win for Barsness, but it got away from Bush. Howland trying to center. Larson can't control. Bush gets it ahead for Tyson. Can't chip it out. Here's Howland. Out front looking for the stick of Larson. Larson was buried, though. Tyson into the zone looking for support. Here's Tandon. Bush and shot the goal! And just like that, we're only four minutes into this third period, and we've seen four goals. That was just a beautiful pass. Just carry it down, bring the defense down with you low, and hit that guy coming in late. And nothing but wide open ice come on down and just look for your spot and throw it in the old net there, Mr. Bush. Good response by Coon Rapids. There it is. It's a nice pass. And good patience by Bush, allowing himself time to settle the puck. Take the ice that's given yeah. to you. Get a couple steps closer. Mm -hmm. And Thiessen did a great job. Just delaying, just looking, watching, seeing that player coming late, putting the puck in the right space. And very nice goal. Tyson now with a goal and an assist. Good body along the near boards by Stahlberger. Hazelwood gets it to Stahlberger. Fanned on the shot. Gets it back to Clark. Back to Stahlberger. Lost it in the corner. He's bumped there by Walter. Played out front. Rising had a whack at it. Puck still loose. Wackman collects. And skates to center for Spring Lake Park. Poked away by Hazelwood and then bumped. Wackman back on it. Plays it off the side of the net. Weird bounce out front and a goal again for Spring Lake Park. We're tied at four. Craziness. Well, Drew loose. Lindquist this time, the recipient of a fortunate bounce yes. for Spring Lake Park. Boy, those pucks are just bouncing to some really nice spots for Spring Lake Park. The last three goals all with pucks that bounced open players. And, well, that happens. Yeah, hard work. Well, Guy gets good by things the happen when you play it toward the net. Wackman bounces it yeah. off the side of the net, and that shot was blocked. But right to there's that guy just sneaking around the corner of the net. You know, the, the goal was made by Wackman's effort. He did a great job just fighting for that puck on the wall. Bush sweeps it around, and let's see who can score the most in the next 12 minutes. Yeah, <laughs> that's where we're at right now. Punch game. and counter punch. Well, I 
Seems to, it was the last game that you and I did, the Duluth East. Speaking of uh, no, punch and no, counterpunch. That, that was you and Howie. We did, unfortunately, it was Centennial. Or should we say you, No, you were there for Duluth East, nope. the 8-6 game, right? No, I was not. That was just no, you was, and Howie. Yeah, it was, oh, a, was, it? It was uh, just a computer and a camera. Yes, yes, that much. I know, but just thinking about punch yeah. and counter punch, uh, that game was Bowden a chance and a blocker save from Lewick. Yeah, it's opened up here all of a sudden. Yeah, I mean, a tight defensive contest in the first, just one goal, and then uh, the second period only saw the two goals, both by Spring Lake Park. We come in, they've got a one goal lead. This one chopped at, bouncing around in dangerous spot at the other end of the ice, and now we've uh -oh. got a penalty. We got an interference. interference. Huh? I'm not sure who they are calling this yeah, against. But Coon Rapids was Rapids. in possession, so this could be a big. It's going to be a big power play yeah. either way. Yeah, and I have a feeling that there's it is. a pretty decent power play for Spring Lake Park because they have some players. And if I remember my statistics, oh my, a 43.1 percent power play. You tell you, if that's accurate, that's an incredible power yeah, There play. it was right there. Zach Novak yep. called Extra for push. the interference. First power play of the evening for the visitors. Face-off win for Larson. Roll plays it across to Wackman. Wackman pressured by Engberg along the boards. Turns back. Shot didn't have a lot on it. Deflected to the corner by Hazelwood. Out to the point. Lindquist across to Roll. Roll. Holds on, waits, shoots, and scores! No. This one is being waved off. Not sure if there was someone in the crease. Oh, it boy. looks like that's what the call is going to be. Immediately waved off by the official. Well, and that's a, the faceoff directed to be outside the zone, so. That's a break. That's a huge break oh, for the my. Cardinals, because they. There he is, walking down Broadway, and yeah. Well, must have happened earlier. Where is he? Right there. There he is. Boy, just, just barely, barely yep, heels just barely. in the top of the blue paint. The thing is, you want to be right, right, there, right there, but good thing it's not the NHL. It's a goal. In the in the <laughs> NHL, that's a goal. You can be in the crease as long as you're not interfering yep. with the goaltender. Yep. But uh, letter of the law says any part of your skate is in the blue paint or even the red surrounding the blue paint. You are. Out of position as the puck Lindbergh. has not already gotten there. It's passed just out of the reach of Alfin. Larson sweeps it in deep, and Panthers are able to stay onside. Bush gets it away from Lindquist, played out to the point. They'll roll across for Wackman. Wackman's shot, save, and hold for Wagner. Yeah, good. Yeah, got to win some battles because Spring Lake Park, once they get set up, they move that puck around. Really nice, high, low, way across, wide. They just keep you moving. 105 remaining in their power play, a 4 4 tie. Panthers had the 2 1 lead coming into this period. Good pressure, forces the turnover. Tried to get it back behind the defense where Barzis was lurking. Roll, Roll able to shut that one down. Big hit by Tandon Bush, but here comes Lindquist walking in. Stick save for Wagner. Good idea. This one go. flipped up and out. Bowden, a little bit of room to skate. Cuts back across, trying to get to the middle. Good back check there from Caden Lichter to keep him from getting to a dangerous spot. Wackman stops up inside the zone. Cuts across the top, fires, blocker save for Wagner. Yeah, Wackman, he's got a good reach. Lindquist dancing away from Bowden down the boards into the corner. Bresnahan able to sweep it free and send it 200 feet. That should pretty much kill oh, the penalty. Play Long play ahead from Lewick. Into the zone, Lindquist tried to leave it back for Lichter. Cardinals able to break out. They've got an extra body behind the defense. Tyson, big save for Lewick, point blank. Just couldn't quite get that under control. Penalty ended. 
Tyson was Blood fresh <laughs> off the bench behind the defense. Puck was wobbling, unfortunately. Bush will send it down and around, slowed by Lewick. In the far corner is Walter. Kicks it up and along. Slowed by Alfin and now played across. Bush. All right, Bush. Good job. Pokes it back into the corner and then holds the line against Shipman. They continue to battle down into the corner. Lindquist went down. This clear knocked down by Tyson. Flips it through the blue paint. Alfin recovers and sends it back in deep on the backhand. Comer trying to get out of the corner. Ends up at center ice. Engberg yep. sends it back in. Cardinals get a line change. A little more than midway through this third period. All tied 4-4. Coon Rapids with three in this period. Spring Lake Park with two. Yeah. Five goals in the first six minutes of this third period. Bresnahan races to the offensive end. Circles towards the boards. Cross ice. Stahlberger into the middle, just out of the reach of Rising. Hammered off the boards. Clark recovers for Coon Rapids. Chips it into the corner. Panthers play it around. Wold sends it up the boards and out to center. Bush stops it up. Holland back the other way. He's bumped by Bush as he enters the zone. Hazelwood tried to flip it around him, and now comes... To Tandon Bush, add for Andrew Clark in the middle of four defenders. Four years, yeah. <laughs> Holland waits for help, carries to center, and that's way offside. Yeah. So they let it go. Goaltender made the save. Should have been a intentional. Intentional. And the netminder is forced to play the puck, but they kind of let that slide. If I believe if if Wagner had stepped out of the way and let mm -hmm. the puck go in, yeah, <laughs> which was a uh, not a, <laughs> not something that, that you really want to teach uh, young goaltenders to do. <laughs> no. But uh, Dominic Hasek was famous for that, and he's, yeah, you know, a Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame goaltender. But be, as soon as it goes into the net, then it becomes the intentional offside. A little bit better face-off positioning, but yeah, it's risky. That one off the skates of Bresnahan all the way down. Icing waved off. Roll recovers behind his own net. There Down it is. to the final six minutes and oh. no penalty on that one. Bowden even lost his stick. Yeah. But neither official considered that a hook. Play continues. Alfin keeps it alive right at the line, then chopped down by Wackman out to center. Move that puck. There you go. Bresnahan to Bowden. One touch to Alfin. Alfin stops up and now will send it into the corner. First one there, though, is Lichter. Bowden bumps him and has the puck underneath him. He tries to get back to his feet. Gets some help from Tristan Dolan. Comes loose for Lichter. Lichter's pass well out of the reach of Tranby on the far side. Cardinals regroup inside their own zone. That pass deflected off the stick of Golan. Tranby with it. Plays it off the glass out to center. Bresnahan gloves it down. Carries in. Trying to get through a couple of Panther defenders. Lindquist pries it free. He will fire it around to the far side where Wackman awaits. Wackman pressured by Engberg. His pass cut off by Barsness, who pokes it into the zone under five minutes to go. Yeah, we're going to see who has the conditioning because they both teams have played very hard tonight. Roll sends it to the Coon Rapids end. Bush right oh, back go. to Tyson walking in, looking back door, and Barsness was tied up out front by Bad. Mason Wool. Bad line change there. But they got away with it. Holland back the other way. Looked for Larson and went off his skates. Tyson turning back the other direction. Chopped off his stick. He sends it through the blue paint. Rising fires that changed directions a couple oh, of times. Right. Tyson couldn't get a stick on it. That goes off the side of the cage. And finally, Lewick is able to trap it against the side of the net with his blocker Ooh. hand. That was close. Had a couple good opportunities. Just put the puck on the net. And yeah, and those were a couple was... of times they just threw the puck toward the net. It'll Throw work. it to the blue paint. Good things happen. Throw it Tyson the... nearly yeah. had his second, but it just hopped over his stick. Yeah, Lewick was scrambling around. He didn't quite know where that puck was. Clark with the faceoff win. 
Yep, down low. Hazelwood will fire it down and around. Wold didn't get much on it. Stahlberger jams it back down. Spinning with it is Clark. Out to the point for Bresnahan. Across, Hazelwood got handcuffed and it deflected up and out of play into the Panther bench. Mm -hmm. Good idea. Well, and the good news, Cardinals have had the offensive zone uh, possession time uh, advantage here over the last couple of minutes as uh, the next goal becomes increasingly more important. Yeah, they have 10 shots in the period and Spring Lake Park has seven. Another face-off win for Clark. Stahlberger across for Hazelwood. Rising's deflection goes into the corner. He puts a body on roll. A little miscommunication by the Panthers just left the puck free. Stahlberger attacking, but Roll plays it around. Rising forces a, a turnover. Rising staying on it. Clark pressuring comes free to Rising. Rising. Plays it across, bounced over Bresnahan stick. He recollects, sends it into the corner. Golan trying to center, went off the back of the net. Clark throws a body around. Oh. That one's centered, but only one there is Lindquist. Yeah. And he sprints out of the zone. Tacking on Bresnahan. He'll catch up with it in the corner. Centering attempt taken away by Bresnahan, and he'll lead the charge. He's got Golan with him, two on two at the line. Cuts across, oh. it hopped over his stick. Bad Gets out. it back, that hits a skate. Alfin will send it around. Golan in the far corner. Out to the point. Bush gets it back to him. Golan snaps it on net. Glove saved by Lewick. Lindquist to the line, but not out. Bush is shot. And this time, Lewick is going to hold for the faceoff. 2.47 to go. No, that's the idea. Just keep shooting pucks on net. Keep grinding out. Dig deep. Yeah, both both teams want this game. They're really working hard for it. They just play sound defense. Always make sure you're back when you need to, but attack that net. Another face-off win for the Cardinals. Shot didn't get through the traffic. Barsness can't dig it free. Panthers able to flip it up and out. Novak turns it around. Tyson tips it along. Recovered there by Toby Tranby. He'll get to the red line, try and dump it deep. But Novak... Kept it from getting all the way to the corner. Oh, open guy. Gotcha. Centering attempt taken away. Barsness to Tyson. Down the boards, plays it out front, went off the skates of Engberg, who was all tied up. It's a couple of times they've looked for that centering pass and good defensive play by the Panthers good has job. prevented a scoring chance. Good back check there from Barsness to knock Larson off the puck. Tyson kind of ran into Engberg at the blue line, who had to stop yep. up. Not a clean zone entry. This one flipped out. Howlett pressuring Barsness back into his own end. Barsness long off the board, stepping up to take it away. Is Sailor. He'll walk in and shoot oh. wide. Oh, there's an opportunity and a glove save for Will Wagner. As again, that was another weird one bounce. of those weird bounce <laughs> situations in the Cardinal zone. <laughs> it, and it comes yeah. right to a Spring Lake Park right. player on the forehand. Right on his stick on the forehand. Always, always seems. Wow. On their forehand in a shooting position. Ooh. And a good opportunity for Mason yeah. Wold, but no traffic in front and a relatively yeah. easy glove save for the Cardinal yeah. netminder. Good job, Wagner, by sticking with that. Alfin, another face-off win. That one flipped up and did not touch any iron as it went up over the rafters. But uh, because it didn't hit anything, yeah. it stays clean. Yeah, so a good, a good exit for the Cardinals, and they're right back in the offensive end. This one flipped cross ice into the near corner. Alfin sends it back around to the far side. Goal at pressuring. Big body check. Puck comes free. Alfin sends it across for Bresnahan. A shot, a glove save. For Lewick sliding to his left. 111 remains in regulation. Yeah, there are going to be some sore bodies after this game. It's been physical, it's been clean, but there have been some big hits. Yeah, just one penalty each way in this contest. Yeah. Well, you're a fan of hockey. This has been a good hockey game. Golan is shot. That misses wide out of the far corner. Bush shoots, hits traffic, yep. ends up in the corner. 
Alfin deflects it down low. Bowden is there digging for it. Roll comes away with it as we're under a minute remaining in the third period. Alfin will fire it back in deep. Lackman is there, pressured by Bowden, able to dig it free and get it to Lindquist on the rush through center. He'll shoot, glove save Wagner. Face off in the Coon Rapids end with 43 on the clock. Yeah, everything is looking good. And all of a sudden, puck squirts loose, and Spring Lake Park comes flying down and gets a good opportunity to see it here again using the screen. Good shot, but Lindquist shoots it high, and Wagner sees it. Face-off win for the Panthers. Jensen shot, hit traffic. Cardinals able to get to the loose puck first. Tyson at center. Gets it to Barsness across, looking for Engberg, but deflected away by Stocky. A chance, save, rebound, cleared all the way down by the Panthers. This will be icing 22 on the clock. A little late on the stoppage. Cardinals may have lost uh, a second and a half or two there. Oh, good zone entry there. That set everything up. Very nice play. Bars is able to win the draw. Tyson jumps on it. Yeah. Tried to play it back to the line, but yeah. not guess, hard enough. Guess who was there reading that? Larson stood up by Bresnahan. Pokes free by Stocky behind the net. Bresnahan. Dangerous move, but able to get away with it. Final couple of seconds. Engberg into the zone, bumped off it, and we are going to overtime. Overtime. We knew it was going to be tight. This definitely wasn't out of the question. It's going to take bonus hockey to decide this one. Overtime is next on CTF. Getting ready for overtime at the Crick. It was a defensive battle for the first two periods. Coon Rapids, the one goal in the first. The Panthers, the two goals in the second came in a 2-1 game. And then this first couple of minutes was just nonstop scoring. This is a weird one. Ends up being credited to Barsness. I think Engberg's the one that scores it there yeah. right at the end. But uh, that just started it. That was a minute 16 oh. in. Goal the two. Panthers own yeah, answer at a minute 44. Cardinals go back to even on Stahlberger's goal at 212. Three of five. <laughs> and then uh, they take a lead for three on the goal by Tandon Bush. That was just under four minutes into the game. Less than a minute later, Panthers get another weird bounce on a shot deflected right to an open player with yeah, an open look at the net. There's our fifth goal of the period. Oh, my. Entertaining. Five five goals in four minutes and 40 seconds. Less than five minutes. Yeah. I said less than six minutes yeah. earlier, but it was yeah. less than five minutes. No, here you go. Just have to and grind so out eight here minutes. Here we are in overtime. We talked about it last year. Uh, a, I believe a 4-3 win, and Whoa. Wagner nearly <laughs> mishandled that. He pointed... <laughs> At Lindquist, who kind of took a little yeah. slash at the glove hand after it was secured. Yeah. But uh, hit the glove last, and year, the stick there. <laughs> last year, it was a one goal win, four to three for Spring Lake Park the year before that. Uh, a one goal win and a two goal win for the Panthers in a home and home series. Bresnahan fires this all the way down. Lewick fires it back out to center. Alfred gets it back in. Yeah, pucks, Drop there. Pucks in, pucks out. It's very difficult to score from your defensive zone. Yes, it is. Roll has a little bit of room, plays it across, bounces into the Cardinals Whoa. end. Bresnahan pokes it free. Wackman can't get past Bush. Here's Eli Bowden 
Bowden into the middle, a chance for Alfin. Oh, Look, makes the save. Oh, that was just a beautiful play. Yeah, Lewick closed it up, five holes there. He just somehow got his stick on it. Comes free, Jansen to the line, but not out. Bush able to hold there. Again, the Cardinals oh. keep it alive. Now poked out by Lindquist. Bush will fire it high into the zone. Cardinals get a quick line change, and oh, they were in offside, unfortunately. Oh. So Engberg, as he continued to pressure, it's another look at nice. that. Yeah, shift that defenseman all outside and snuck it right in the middle, but unfortunately, Elfin couldn't just tuck that in. Tyson will send this one in deep. Bars has had a piece of that pass, but the Panthers able to stay with it. Larson shot blocked into the corner. He's tied up, can't continue to pressure. Novak gets it ahead to Tyson. Tyson gets into the zone. Oh, had him. Poked free by Tranby. Couldn't get it out to center. Bars this couldn't kick it to his stick. Hazelwood. Wax at it. Larson can't get past Engberg to center. Now numbers for the Panthers at the blue line. Left there. Larson bumped off it by Hazelwood. Pucks underneath him, though. Continues to play it. Barsness will send this behind. Novak with a little bit of room. Can get his head up. Take a look. Engberg. One touch. Tyson was tied up. He comes loose to Walter. He'll send it down. That'll be icing. Face off in the Panthers end, 5.41 to go in the extra session. Uh, good good decision making. Just going to keep playing in front of there. Hazelwood does a good job battling on that blue line to keep the puck in front of him. Dig deep in overtime. It's a tiring game. A lot of good hustle tonight. Face off win for Alfin. The shot by Golan turned away by Lewick. Panthers played around to the near corner. Wackman gets it ahead for Lindquist. Out to center. Gets around Bush. Bresnahan recovers and will reverse. Bowden takes a look. Has a little bit of room. Can't get past Wackman. Wackman's been everywhere tonight. Centers. Good stick by Bresnahan, but a penalty on the Cardinals. And the Panthers are going to have an opportunity on the power play in overtime. Well, that's... Too bad, but that's why hustle creates penalty opportunities. Players crashing that net, going hard. Alfin called for the trip at 249 of overtime. Well, we'll have to battle hard because I remember last time Spring Lake Park had a power play. They had pretty good opportunities. Three shots on goal on that advantage. Just the second power play for the Panthers in the contest. Just the third penalty called. Yeah. It's been a fun game. Good oh, pace, is. back and forth. Tight all game. No, Never seen, have not seen a two-goal lead either way. Yeah. Again, it was Coon Rapids up by one, then two for Spring Lake Park, then one for Coon Rapids, one for Spring Lake Park, two for Coon Rapids, one for Spring Lake Park. <laughs> it's been fun. It's been, it has been fun. Yeah. That's it. A lot of writing on the game, so the winner is going to be very, very happy, and the loser is not going to be unless we have a tie. Yeah, Coon Rapids currently just ahead of the Panthers in the section standings. That shot misses Good. high and wide, and Kerem's all the way back mm -hmm. to Lewick at the other end. Yep, risk-reward on that shot. You miss the net, that's what happens. It's all the way down. Oh, Wackman with a little slap of the stick. Didn't like the shot selection, seeing as how he was not all the way over on the near side yet to protect against exactly what had happened. But they do recover, get back in, and get set back up. Wackman takes a couple whacks from Bowden. He spins inside. His shot deflected nice up. Play. And now sent all the way down by Jackson Engberg. Yep, good job. Cardinals get out. Couple of new forwards. Lindquist weaves into the zone. He'll take the shot. That's deflected wide. Novak jumps on it. He will just chip it 
down mm -hmm. the boards. Yep, and get some fresh bodies out there. The two defenders get changed. Good stick from Parsnes. Lindquist pressured get it by to Tyson. Hazelwood to uh. Parsnes. Parsnes takes the shot to glove oh. save by Lewick. Too bad. Didn't get it to him a second oh, earlier. If it was second earlier, he would have been three in free. Feet, three feet further down the Cardinals' ice, ice, the Cardinals' way, and that one's right in his wheelhouse, and he can push it yep, to uh, Barsness and send yep. him in on a breakaway, but Hazelwood had to take a couple of strides to get to it. Does mm -hmm. get it to Barsness. Not, yep. Defender. not a clean breakaway, yep. but Defender takes a good cut, shot. Defender cutting him off, so he had to make that, bat, that shot. So. Timeout. I don't see who took it. I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy looking at the replay. I would assume Spring Lake Park, Spring Lake their, Park their, to uh, keep their top out there. Yeah, top player uh, power play out there. Well, and the good thing is that also lets Coon Rapids rest their penalty killers and figure out what they're going to do when that player jumps out of the box. Coming into the game, Coon Rapids in the sixth spot in Section Five Double A. Panthers in the seventh spot. Yeah, I can't remember what the section realignment. Are there eight spots? Yes. Yeah, so six and seven is a difference between Maple Grove and Centennial, maybe. Probably. Either way, I think the top three, <laughs> Rogers, Maple yeah. Grove, Centennial, right. yeah. uh, are going to be tough. They're going to be tough. <laughs> Certainly those top two, mm. but I. Uh, from what I've heard, keeping away from Rodgers until a potential championship matchup is kind of where you want to be. Yeah, yeah. Rodgers had a little blip around Christmas time. They were playing good competition at Dinah, Minnetonka, those types, Chan Hansen. But they seem to be back on track. Oh, that one almost came out, but able to keep it in. Panthers trying to set up on the Good. face or on the power play again. Yeah, Just over 15 yeah, seconds looking left. Door, looking back door. There he is. Up top, that shot Ooh. is blocked into the corner. Down to 10. Lichter out to the point. Roll across. Lindquist waits, shoots through traffic. Ooh. Deflected up and out of play with three seconds left on the power play. 314 yeah. to go in overtime. After that timeout, they came out and they were very deliberate about what they wanted to do. They wanted to put that puck down on the goal line and try to walk to the net and see if that would open up a backdoor play. And if it didn't, the guy came down from the high area and walked to the top of the circles and got a good shot. Tie up on the draw. Good battle from Engberg. Bush gets it free and pitchforks it out to center. Alfin has been released. And that one flipped into the... Panther bench, 3.04 to go yeah. in overtime. We're back to even strength. Well, they survived and, that one and did a pretty good job in that penalty and no shot And no shots on goal. No shots. About as good as they, they, did. Did. They, had, uh, they had some good zone possession yeah. time, but uh, and they do a nice job of setting up on mm -hmm. their power play, yeah. but a couple of big blocks for the Cardinals, making sure that everything ended up in the corners. Yep. Tranby out to center. Bush stops it up. Back in. A little give and go. He'll take the shot off the mask of Lewick into the far corner. Yeah, Lindquist go. long pass. Goaling got just a piece of it. Looking for Wackman. Wackman pressuring Bresnahan. Bresnahan gets the legs going. Flying through center. On his backhand. Trying to send oh. it out front. Just out of the reach of Golan. Bush oh. a chance. His second of the game. It's a overtime game winning. Finally, the puck landed on a Cardinal stick at the right spot. And that was a very nice play. And I'll start with Bresnahan with his hustle. He took that puck and wouldn't be denied. R raced down to the right corner, put it out in front of the net. And that's where the chaos began. Good Tandon game. Bush, he had the goal to put Coon Rapids up for three, four minutes into the third period. Five and a half minutes into the overtime. He's got the OTGWG. Bresnahan pressuring, comes out front. Tyson couldn't get the shot off, but it comes free to Tandon Bush in a good spot. Had room, 
stepped in and buried it and buried sends it. the Cardinals fans home happy. And as we've talked yeah. about, you know, they, they haven't scored a win over these uh, Panthers in quite a while. Yeah. So that feels good and even more so because of the implications in both the conference and the section. Yeah, it's just it's a big win. And give Spring Lake Park credit. They played a very good hockey game and hung right in there and had the lead and just Coon Rapids racked up 35 shots by the end. So the second half of the game, once they started scoring goals, Coon Rapids really started to play pretty good hockey. And I think they just were not to be denied. Well, an entertaining contest start to finish, no question. A lot of good hockey. I, yeah. I mean, it was just clean. Only saw three penalties all game long. Uh, but not a lot of miscues. They, oh. they, the mental errors seem to be at a minimum mm -hmm. for both mm -hmm. squads. Yeah. Uh, we had a good defensive struggle for, oh, for yeah. the first Wait. 34 minutes. <laughs> Two different and, hockey games. <laughs> and then the third period uh, was just a back and forth uh, battle. At, and it ends up with an overtime winner yeah. from Tandon Bush. Cardinals go home happy. Five for the final. But that is going to do it for this edition of CTN Sports as Bush takes his victory lap. We want to thank everybody out there for joining us. And here's a look at what we have coming up for you. Swimming and diving on Tuesday, Bengals and the Cardinals. We'll see this boys hockey team again next week against Elk River on Thursday. And then on Tuesday, the 30th, it's Champlin Park against Coon Rapids in boys basketball. Now it'll do it for this edition of CTN Sports. Again, the final score, Coon Rapids 5, Spring Lake Park 4 in overtime. I want to thank everybody out there for joining us and continuing to support everything we do here at CTN for the entire crew, including Jerry Grants. I'm Joe Young saying goodnight.